Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, what you're looking at right now is Scott's 258 cylinder head. Uh, I think you can see the setup that I needed to make here. So, if anybody out there is trying to get their uh, cylinder head decked, uh, it is quite a, an ordeal to set these up. There's aluminum plate that you can I hope you can see that aluminum plate. I make that and then I adapt it. I'll come around later and show you the back uh, piece here. But I have that aluminum plate for 258s. And then you just got to jig everything up to the, the, the wheel. Uh, and I do run jacks uh, just for support. Uh, this is such a long head that um, I, I do have jacks. They're not putting pressure on there. They're just stabilizing it. Now I got my straight edge on there. And I got a 6 thousandths feeler gauge. And that's just sailing through a lot of places here. Uh, see that's just flying right through there uh, I was able to put a ten thousandths in, in some places you know uh, there goes six thousandths again uh, we could probably get a ten under there so we got a belly in the center uh, I have this jigged up as close as I'm gonna get it because depending where I measure it you know we're off a few thousandths so I'm probably gonna have to take I imagine 10 or 12 thousandths off this head because it is so twisted. Um, you know, it's just it's just not straight, and, and that's what the the block master is going to do. We're going to get this nice and uh, and dead flat. So I'll get set up for that. We'll make a pass and, and see where we're hitting and uh, where we got to take more material. Okay, guys, I'm set up for a extremely light cut. I just want to see how it goes across the whole distance uh, this is just kind of like an exploratory cut very light we don't want to dig into anything um, so let's let's get this going right, I got that on high speed it might cut in some areas it might not I just like I said, I'm just getting a feel for where we are. And it's starting to cut now. Um, and we're just going to cruise that right across the whole thing. And uh, I'll show you in a little bit what the first pass looks like. Okay, guys, there's the first cut. You can see we took some along this edge the whole way. We didn't get anything in here. It's all bellied in here. And then we just started to cut. We're starting to come across here. And we just finally on this side made it across there. Uh, we're just kind of tickling this as we're going. So that was a basically like a half a thou uh, cut. So I'm going to set it down on uh, maybe two thousandths on the next cut. And we'll take a look at that and see where we get on that cut. Like I say, we've got uh, ten thousandths here, ten thousandths here, ten thousandths here, all in this area. So we know that's low and we know there's going to be a lot of... Uh, milling here, so a little bit at a time, and we'll get there. Okay, that's the start of a 2000 cut. And you see, we're just starting on that corner there, and we might get. Now we're not going to get all the way across, but uh, we'll, we'll just keep watching this and, and going a little bit at a time. I, I got the, the machine set on slow speed. So we get a good uh, a good finish there. Okay, guys, there's two thousandths. We made it all the way across in a pretty good area. Halfway there, a little bit less, a little bit less, and almost all the way across over here. So we're on our way to getting that flat. It's just going to take a little bit. Okay, guys, we're at five and a half thousandths. We're cleaning up nice up until about right there. This this is the front of the motor here. Uh, you can see where we're leaving some of all that low spot in there. And we just cleaned up here, but just for a short while. And cleaned up right here so we still got to go a little bit more we knew this was low 
you see we're cleaning up here we're cleaning up here we know this is low um, now when I took this engine apart uh, you could see the gasket the head gasket was kind of blown out it was uh, you could see where it was were leaking um, through the center here so when you take an engine apart it's good to do a little research work and see what's going on and then uh, when I threw the straight edge on this I knew what the problem was that the head is just probably been overheated a time or two and that's what causes them to uh, to take a bow like that but uh, with the new ARP fasteners in this and a perfectly decked block and a nicely decked head uh, it, it's going to seal perfectly Okay guys, this is my fifth pass. Uh, I got just a tiny shadow right there. I don't know if you can see that. Got a tiny shadow there I'm trying to get out. Um, hopefully we're gonna get the whole thing on this pass. Right now I'm sitting at ten and a half thousandths off this head. So if that gets it, we'll end it here. If not, we'll take another couple thousand. But uh, we're creeping up on it. Okay guys, it's all cleaned up. This is ten and a half thou off cleaned up in that pass. And that is now perfectly flat. <clears throat> now, um, I wanted to show you that setup one one time here. Okay, this is the main jig that comes with most block masters. And this will fit a lot of heads. It'll fit, you know, Chevy, Dodge, Oldsmobile, you know, everything. Uh, but it won't take a, a, a 258 head. So I have this um, aluminum jig here. And this gets bolted to the head and then bolted to the jig here. There's one, two, and then one, two, three down here. Uh, and that holds everything nice and rigid. Um, <clears throat> Now, just to give you guys an indication, um, a lot of guys always ask me what things cost. Um, if you take your cylinder head into a shop and they're not set up to do a 258, it'll be obviously more expensive. Uh, the setup for a head, as you can see, it takes a lot of components to get it where it is. Now, I started setting this head up <clears throat> at 5 a.m. this morning and I just did the final pass and let's see what time it is okay it's 10:15. so um, <clears throat> putting the head on on you know the the table here and putting everything together uh, that's that's the easy part uh, making sure you're you got the head you know perfectly set up front to back side to side that takes a lot of care so this head was was wildly warped so it, it was a little trickier to set up um, but you know just do the math on what it takes to uh, to get it set up and ready to cut and um, you know when you go into a machine shop you know don't ask them to cut your head for 20 bucks or something because there is a lot of setup to these things uh, if you want to um, if you want to save your head and you want to cut it and make it perfect, uh, it, it just takes a little bit of time. Now I'm going to leave it on this jig here, and next thing I'm going to do is cut the seats, uh, the intake and exhaust seats while it's here. Uh, it's just just easier for me to do it when it's in a rigid setup. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's the setup for cutting a 258 head and any kind of long type of head you know you can see the 
you see the jig it's it's hard to uh, there's a lot of holes in here and it fits everything but like I say not a 258 and um, you, you're supposed to be able to uh, this goes every which way so you can cut um, the intake manifold surface on a head on a V engine or you could you could deck it like I'm doing here this goes a lot of different ways um, and you can usually just bolt your head to that and go but like I say I had to use jacks on this because this is a very heavy head and it's very long so that's just what it takes to set up a 258 and uh, and get it perfect so that's all I have for you today I uh, just want to show you the process and uh, Scott we're moving along on things so uh, hang in there uh, I'll catch up with you soon and um, thanks for watching everybody we'll catch you on the next one